Hey, welcome to Robinson Foundry. I have a bunch of old, dull files that I've been holding onto for years with the intention of using them as a good source of high carbon steel for knife making someday. I've heard that dull files can be sharpened using acid, so that's what I'm going to try in this video. You can tell a file is dull just by looking at it. If the teeth are shiny like this, then that means the tiny teeth have been rounded over slightly and they're reflecting the light. This is one of the files I'll be sharpening compared to a brand new one. I picked out six different files and then went to work cleaning them using a file comb. Cleaning them first will remove whatever might be gummed up in the teeth and allow the acid to get at the steel. I also used a piece of copper tubing which helps get into the teeth without damaging them. This large file really wasn't as dull as I thought it was, but I sharpened it anyways. These smaller files were really greasy and grimy from years of use, so I soaked them in a degreaser for a few hours before brushing them out. I dulled the tip of one of the files to be sharpened as an example of an extremely dull file. I figured this would be a good way to see just how well this method works, and yes, it was quite painful to do this, even to an old file. First I tried sharpening the files in sulfuric acid. I mixed a container with baking soda and water to neutralize the acid, and then I made a dilute solution of sulfuric acid, about 10 parts water to 1 part acid. I set the files in the acid for about 40 minutes and then neutralized them in baking soda. I could have kept them in the acid longer, but as I've never done this before, I didn't want the acid to completely destroy all the teeth. After drying them, I could tell that they were significantly sharper, but the largest file was still really rusty, so I removed the rust in evaporust. Next I wanted to try plain old white vinegar. This contains acetic acid which is also supposed to dissolve steel. I went through the same cleaning process as before and then placed them in the vinegar for 8 hours. The vinegar actually worked extremely well. I did have the vinegar sitting in the sun on a hot day, so that definitely accelerated the reaction quite a bit. But I was really surprised with how well the vinegar worked. Well, I'm glad I tried this. All of these are significantly sharper now, so I was able to give these old files some new life. I think either method works fine, but not having to work with strong acid is definitely nicer, so vinegar will be my go-to method from now on.
I hope you found this interesting, and if you did, please let me know what you think in the comments, give the video a thumbs up, and subscribe for future projects. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.